Hey y'all, it's Johnny. Today we have the GT Lite Commander Tactical 500 lumens. Uh, three piece, just the light and the two batteries that comes with this. See the details on it over here. In high it's 500 lumens, one and a half hours, uh, out to 1200 feet. On low, 150 lumens, four hours, 500 feet. Weatherproof, impact resistant. So we'll get this out and see exactly how she looks. Okay, got the light out. Got the batteries in it. The batteries are CR123 batteries, kind of like you'll find in some cameras. See the rubber gasket here, which makes it water resistant. Here's uh, the battery holder for the two CR123s. The nice thing about this light is if you've all messed with the 18650 batteries that's exactly what is also compatible with this light these are the same length same size as the 18650 batteries nice thing about the 18650s is the rechargeable so if you already have lights that use the 18650 or have a charger then you're set if not you can get the aftermarket 18650s plus chargers uh, on amazon also i've seen multiple different aftermarkets that has those uh, soft countersunk um, plush touch button this has three modes has a high a low and a strobe those three modes no memory to it um, as soon as you go back again it's going to be on high if you hold the button on a couple of seconds turn it off the next one's going to be low there's just there's no memory you just got those three modes to mess with though body of this feels like a as light as it is like an aluminum alloy it's impact resistant there is a lifetime warranty on this uh, it says offers lifetime warranty to all products with certain exceptions so i'm not sure what their exceptions are the bulbs is the cree xpg r5 leds there's three in there you can see those and you got that Tactical, I'm not sure what you would call this, the dimpled front for striking if you had to. But pretty neat design. Looks about like a real close to a one inch shaft here. Okay, it does say 500 lumens uh, in high mode. This is high going down the street with it. Of course, it, you can't judge it by these videos because it can't really pick up exactly how far the light shines. I'm looking one, two, three, four houses down, and you can see the light glare even on the fifth house down. I mean, it's reaching down the street pretty far. Footage, I'd say it is pushing that 500 foot mark where you can see the light glaring on the house down there. But it's more of a wide beam. It, it seems like it stays a little tight as you go out. But it's also kind of a wide beam. You can see how it shines right in front. So it covers good ground. It's not adjustable. You can't zoom this in, zoom it out. For you uh, raccoon hunters, this is what you're looking like in the trees. Tree in the backyard even. So that gives you an idea of the brightness. I guess I should show you all three modes. So here we are with the bright, the dim. Still perfect for walking. You can still see your area real good. And then of course your strobe. And that's four houses down and then five houses down. So it does throw the light out there pretty good. All right, final assessments opinions that's a nice light it seems real durable real sturdy solid there's no give to it everything's threaded together pretty well i like the design I like the countersunk button and it is a real easy button you can soft touch it to each mode or go through the full clicks but uh, i like the way it's made and it you know i was thinking about it outside shining that light even on the flashlights I've tested with the zoom beam, when you tighten it in, I don't think they really throw the light down there 
down the street to those houses quite as far as this does just with its set beam the way it is so this holds a pretty good tight beam plus it's three bulbs so another nice benefit of this is the, it's waterproof it's not water resistant it's waterproof it's impact resistant I'm not big on the one and a half hours runtime on high but I guess it's quite a bit if you if you're not walking with it on on patrol the whole time if you run it on low and then just switch it to high whenever you need to it's going to last a lot longer. Uh, if you're going to use this quite a bit or have the light on for excessive amounts of time, I would consider getting the 18650 batteries with the rechargers, or else you're going to be buying a bunch of CR123s and it's going to get costly. So if it's something you're not going to have on all the time on high, then it's going to be just fine. I mean, it's decent run time for, for those batteries if you keep it on low, only whenever you need. But, uh, all in all, I think I've mentioned everything. The way it's constructed, the way it feels, its performance you've seen on the video, which it doesn't pick up the greatest. Uh, the uh, video doesn't pick it up the greatest. You can't really judge it by that, but it was throwing the light real nice and it was holding a decent beam. So, all in all, I like it. It's a good buy.